In previous video, I've explained that by default an object exists to serve exactly one client and has the same life cycle as that client. But this scope can be changed. In CDI, we've got five scopes. The first one is request, which uh, its annotation is uh, request scope. And uh, this means that uh, a bin annotated with request scope is created and destroyed for each HTTP request. The other one is the session, which its annotation is session scope. And the bin is created and destroyed after, after it's been used in a multiple HTTP request, uh, as you can suppose when the session is destroyed. The next one is the application with uh, application scope, tune scope annotation. And um, this uh, scope means that the state of the bin is shared across all users interactions with the web application. Uh, can be considered as a maybe a singleton uh, implementation. Then we've got dependent scope, which is the default one. I've talked about it uh, before. And if you don't uh, specify any scope, this is the one used. And if you want to explicitly uh, set in your uh, bin, you can use dependent And rotation and finally the conversation scope which of course it's an, uh, annotated with conversation scope and well uh, this um, scope is used in java server faces applications and we are going to see it deploy in the uh, java server faces videos so let's see an example about these scopes. We've got our greetings um, service and we've got two servlets. Hello world servlet, the one we already created. And note that is injecting a greetings bin and second hello world um, servlet, which also injects another greetings uh, service. Let's run it. Oh, sorry. And um, look, the implementation has been changed. I've added a counter, and the, uh, this number is incremented each time. Say hello method is called. So now you we can run it. Sorry. Oh, now. If I go to hello, hello from CI1, if I run two, three, four, every time I'm pushing uh, the refresh button, five, six, seven, because our bin lifecycle is um, linked with the server lifecycle. But if I'm going to um, second hello, which is the, the other server, Hello from second hello, uh, second hello servlet from CDI and one and two and three because each bin have its own uh, left circle inside the servlet. But let's change it. Let's go in here and we're going to change reading from CDI to uh, request scope. Now we can run again. We use hello, it's one. And if I'm going to refresh, it's still one. And refresh, it's still one. And, and if I'm going to second uh, hello, it's one. And still one, and still one, and still one. Because for each HTTP request, a new greetings service is created. 
Time for an exercise. Try to change the uh, scope of greetings from CDI service from request scope to application scope and see what's happened.